to license it. Meep, meep. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Batch Box Makeovers. I'm Andrew. And on the bench today is a Ford F-150 by Hot Wheels. This is called a Mega Duty truck. I'm trying to make a careful decision here. This black one is a Hot Wheels Custom 62 Chevy all slammed down to the ground and looking very mean and square bodied. This is a Maisto. And doesn't have a model name on it. And I've got a tough as nails Corgi Jr.'s Land Rover. But you know cars talk to you and I'm holding this one. It's a custom 69 Chevy pickup and it's calling my name. I like the lines, I like the design of this one, and I see some potential here for a special job that I need to do today. So I think I have made my decision and I'm clearing off all the others. This is going to be my entry into the Diecast Mafia's Build-Off Invitational on the theme of shop trucks today. If you like this video, I'd like you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned in for upcoming builds. May 22nd is a buddy build and right after that, May 30th, a race car build off invitational. You hit the notification bell, you won't miss any of those things that are coming up real soon on my channel. I appreciate all my subscribers and if you're not one already, Hit that button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and it won't cost you anything. Love to have you as part of the Maple Leaf team. The Diecast Mafia is a Diecast build team of great guys who have all been supportive of my early efforts in this first year online with YouTube and my channel. And you can find all of their excellent channels by looking for the links in the description. Tell them Andrew sent you over and be sure to give them the same love that you give me and get all subbed up. They're terrific guys who do really, really good builds and a great variety of styles among them as well. The CK is a series of trucks that were manufactured by General Motors, marketed under the Chevrolet and GMC brands. The CK series included a wide range of vehicles. Uh, most of us commonly associate them with pickup trucks, but the model line also included chassis cab trucks and medium duty trucks, and served as the basis for GM's full-sized SUVs line. Used for both the model branding and the internal model code, C denoted two-wheel drive, while K denoted four-wheel drive. You can see that I changed my Dremel tool attachments for specific purposes and this smaller brush just gets into those hard to reach places like the inside of the tailgate and under the wheel wells where you just can't get in with the larger wheel attachments. And I sure do enjoy this part of the project. Aren't those beautiful lines? I think the 60s were a great era for car and truck design, don't you? As always, I'll show you a 
variety of pictures of the actual vehicles and the cacophony of colors that they came in back in the day. And this is a popular model that gets modified quite often, although I don't see them on the road over here where I live. I'm based in Europe, and our old cities and our tiny little roads just aren't conducive to these big American-sized vehicles. This is going to be a one-tone paint job today, and I mixed up a blue-gray color that I'm laying down now over the primer that went on. I feather it on and I let it dry for 10 minutes and I go for another layer and I just build these up. I'm never in a big rush on the bench here. And turning this into a shop truck, my, my vision is kind of, this is a, an old guy driving this truck and his shop is out in the country at the end of a long dusty road and he knows everybody and he's everybody's pal. but kind of a crusty old guy. You stay out of his way, but if you need something done, he's going to show up. And this is his shop truck. And in my imagination, he takes good care of the big block V8, but he doesn't wash the car too often. And, you know, it's a utility vehicle for him. Launched in the fall of 1959, the 1960 model year introduced a new body style of light pickup truck that featured many firsts. Most important of these are the very distinctive drop center ladder frame, which allowed the cab to sit lower, and independent front suspension, giving it an almost car-like ride in a pickup truck. Chevy branded these with exciting names like Apache and Viking and Spartan. It's also when we first heard the terms fleet side and step side. I'm working on a second generation custom. These were produced from 62 to 72 and were designated the Action Line generation. It was during this time that the CK body was redesigned from the ground up to improve its capability as a multi-purpose vehicle. The CK was also offered with optional featured carryover from the Chevy sedans including automatic transmissions, AM, FM radio, carpet, and two-tone paint if you wanted it. The drivetrain line underwent multiple revisions too as a large block V8 and that was offered for the first time in 68. Many pickup truck die casts don't have a full post in the back where the truck bed is and neither does mine. So you saw me cutting the threads off of a screw and leaving just the head of the screw which after some super glue I apply mostly for a cosmetic look and the front clipped in with the grill. And now I'm adding some accoutrements to make this a real shop truck. The spare tire went in. Here's an oil drum that old Zeke doesn't even know when he put in the back of the bed here, but it's always been there. It's rusted up like a lot of the body. And I made an old piece of rusty chain there that he keeps just in case he's got to pull you out of the ditch one day and he'd be happy to do that. Oh, here's some more inspiration from Disney. Let's have a closer look at the custom 69 Chevy. I put my shop label on the side door there. It says free towing. Old Zeke is not into making money, he just wants to be a good buddy neighbor to you, and that's what he is. Passenger side door is a replacement, never got past the primer stage. You can see it's been sitting out in the rain, there was a pail of white paint spilled on the back. Yeah, that happened, it's a work truck. 
Is it all slammed down to the ground? No, it's not. Zeke doesn't like that, and he doesn't like the guys who do that or wear their pants halfway down their backside either. He's a hard-working guy. A bright red and shiny when I started, there was a wonky back wheel, and now it looks like it's been a shop truck since 1969. Pretty well weathered and dirtied up. And I got just the look that I wanted. A little bit of rust, a whole lot of road dust. Got the utility tools that everybody needs, and you give him a call, he'll be right over. I think it turned out fantastic, don't you? I was happy with it. There was lots of creativity went into this one, and the final result is just what I was after. And I always put these into a blister pack as a gift for kids at the Goodwill, but you know what? Hmm. I'm going to hang on to this one. You okay with that? Thanks. And thanks for visiting today, and come on back real soon and often. It's coffee time.